morning everyone. Good morning, Monday morning, seven o'clock. Hopefully we have uh, some people joining me today for the power hour workout. My name is Andréanne Montigny. I work for PSP Ottawa. So I physically work in Gatineau, but for PSP Ottawa. Um, so today with the workout is uh, power hour. So it's, um, we'll work on agility and power. So there's gonna be a lot of jumping. Uh, just keep in mind, I'll give a lot of options, especially if you can't jump, feel free to join the class anyway. I'll give options. The workout will be a little bit different for you, uh, but still, you're going to get a good workout out of this. Maybe not just as much as the power work, but still a good workout. So uh, we'll work sometimes both legs at a time, sometimes one leg. Of course, it's going to be more lower body than upper body. We'll do a little bit of core as well. So a mix of all that. Um, so we'll uh, make sure you read the questionnaire in the comments and the uh, description of the class today just to make sure you are able and fit to do the class today and just listen to your own limitations listen to your body it's it's gonna be intense a lot of jumping uh, if at any point you feel you can't jump anymore just modify for the no jump version like I said it will be different but still a good workout so we'll start with a good warm-up, we'll work a little bit on mobility, lower body uh, mobility for sure, and then we'll do a more specific warm-up to what we'll do later. So, uh, oh yeah, for sure. You'll need a bench or a chair if you have access to one, a close access to one, and you'll need your water, and that's about it. So a pair of running shoes for sure, because we're going to be jumping, and that's all you need. So I'll give you a few seconds to set up, and we'll start with the mobility like I mentioned, make sure you have enough space. We'll be jumping side to side once in a while. So just make sure there's nothing in your way. And uh, I'll put a little bit of music. Feel free to put your own. Uh, maybe just make sure you can also hear me. I will not put mine too loud to start. Uh, there's no uh, tabata today. Well, kind of, but I'll use my timer. I will not use music for that. So just make sure you can hear my timer. It's in French. I try to change it. I couldn't. It's your time to learn how to count in French. So, a little bit of more music, and we'll start with the mobility, like I said. So we're all ready to go. So feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna just go down in your deep squat position. <clears throat> we'll just start with that. I have my morning voice. So try to go as low as you can. Try to lift your chest up. Try to bring your spine as straight as possible. You can also press on the inside of the legs to get a little bit more opening in your hips. From here, you're just going to grab your toes and you're going to try to bring your legs as straight as you can. And you're going to go back in your squat, pull on your toes, try to get as much extension as you can in your spine, and then stretch again. So do that a few times at your own pace. If you feel you want to stay longer in one of the two positions, go ahead. <clears throat> Few more times. Let's do one more. Try to get the stretch here in your hamstrings. And we're gonna stay here in the squat. From here, you're gonna try to bring your knee close to the floor. Try to keep the inside of your foot flat on the ground. And then open again. Switch side. If it's too difficult, you can turn so your toes are on the floor instead of the inside of your foot. Make sure you open, push, and switch. Good job. One more time. Perfect, stand up. From here, we're gonna step back into a lunge. So knee close to the floor, push in the front leg, and come back. So do that a few times, alternating. Keep your body as straight as you can. So you're not leaning forward. We're gonna stay here with the knee off the ground. You're gonna press on the outside of the leg and you're gonna twist as far as you can. Hold it for a few seconds and switch side. So just make sure you're not pushing the knee in. Push against your hand. Switch. Switch. And come back. Good job. Next.
next one more inside of the legs so you're gonna go out here bending one leg keeping the other one straight make sure you hinge at the hip come down same position then your squat foot flat on the floor for now and come back switch so go as low as you can take your time it's early morning don't want to pull something right now just go a little bit deeper as you feel comfortable to do so you're going to try to bring your toes up so you're ha you'll have your heel on the floor might give you a little bit more range of motion for that let's do a few more reps one more on each side Sit up, come back. Super. Uh, downward dog. So we're going to start in push-up position. So straight, core tight. From here, bring your tailbone up to the ceiling. Stay here. Try to bring your head between your arms. Bring your tailbone up, like I said. Drive your heels closer to the floor. We're just going to do a little bit of a walk here. My floor is slippery. What happened? From here, go into push-up position. Just lower your hips a bit. Push your chest to the front. So into like a upward dog position. And then go back to your downward dog. Upward dog. Chest to the front. So try not to over arch your back. Bring it to the front. Down. And up one more time. Brace your core, body straight, bring your foot in, stand up. Okay, we'll work on the calves, so on both feet for now, just go up on your toes, we'll do that a few reps, a lot of jumps today, so you want to make sure the calves are ready for that. We'll try standing on one leg, same thing, up and down, challenging your balance a bit. We'll do things on one leg today. One leg at a time, so you really want to make sure you focus on that balance. Switch side, <clears throat> all the way up, one more time, excellent. Then we're going to go back on the first leg, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So you keep your hips parallel to the floor, keep your spine straight, hinging from the hip, you're going to come down. Keep a small flexion here in the knee and back to your starting position without bringing the foot, the other foot on the floor. So we'll do that a few reps. We'll try to jump. So opposite hand to the foot will go close to the, the, the ground and then you're going to try to jump and land keeping your balance. Not like I just did. One more time. Perfect. Switch sides. Same thing. So hips spread out to the floor. Small flexion here. Activate glutes. Come back up. So your back should not be round like this. Okay, so make sure you have a nice posture. One more time. And we'll try the jumps if you did it on the other side. So hand down and up. So drive the opposite knee up. That's going to help you with the jump. Two more. One more time. Nice. A few jumping jacks. So regular jumping jacks here out. If you're not jumping, just try to move side to side. Just a few reps. We'll do more jumps after that. In the warm up still. Try not to drive your uh, toes out a bit as you do this so you don't have your feet inside of this. One more time and I'm done. Perfect. Next portion, still in the warm up, we'll do a Tabata style, so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, just to activate. So we're going to start with the jumps. I might be out of breath there. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. <clears throat> I'll just put my timer. Hopefully you'll hear it. Can bring it closer to uh, my camera, maybe. 
<coughs> so first 20 seconds, we'll do speed, uh, quick feet. So you're just going to move your feet as quickly as you can, alternating. Right foot, we're going to jump front to back, then 10 second break, right foot still, side to side, and then we'll do pogo jump. So you're just going to be jumping without like going into a squat. You're going to use your ankles more than your knees. You're still going to have a small flexion in your knees, but more ankles, calves are going to work there. So we'll do, do that twice. So let's start in 10 seconds with the quick feet. And start. 20 seconds of that. So move your feet as quickly as possible. You're in an athletic position. Go in. Feet at least shoulder width apart. Eight more seconds. Six. Standing on the right foot, everyone, so you don't get lost. Jumping front to back. So work on your balance. It's a back T. Don't just back and forth. Keep your core tight. Go as quickly as you can. Keep going. Push, push, push. Perfect. So of course, if you were not jumping, you could have done just the calf raise we did. Side to side next. The back T, side to side. So keep your eyes focused. So you don't lose the balance. Push, push, push. Nice. And then just the vertical pogo jumps. If you're not jumping, do a few squats, okay? Bend the ground. Oh. Go. Let's go. So try to go as high as you can. Smooth on the landing. Okay. Back to the first one. Quick feet. And then we'll work on the left side. between doing 
20 and 30 seconds. So I decided to go halfway. So we'll do 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So similar to what we did, just an extra five seconds. So what we'll do here, two exercise. So first 25 seconds, you do the first, second 25 seconds, you do the second. And we'll do four rounds each. So eight times, so four times each. First one, split squat. We did it in the warm up. So out like this. And you're gonna jump as high as you can vertical, and then you're gonna switch side. If you are not jumping, you can just stay here and come up as quickly as you can. If jumping with the alternating is too difficult, you can also just try to jump one side at a time. So your second round, you're gonna go with the other leg. Okay, second movement, that's the fun one. Bear position, so bear, your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips, but your knees are not touching the floor. They're about a few inch off the floor. From here, you're gonna brace your core, that's really important, and you're gonna jump and transfer the weight in your arms, just like if you were going into a handstand. So here, if it's your first time doing it, you might just jump like this, but make sure you feel the weight is transferred in your arms. Just lift the hips and slowly and gently come back down. So as you get more comfortable, you can try to jump higher and eventually you can maybe try to extend your legs. But that's only if you can go straight. Okay, don't extend the leg if you're just halfway up and then kick, focus on your landing. Very, very smooth. So 25 seconds of that, split squat, Donkey kicks, we're gonna alternate between the two, four rounds. Sounds good? So let's start with the split squat. I'm out of breath here already. Je un petit peu le volume. Back three points. Okay, so I don't wanna go. <laughs> we start in 10 seconds for 25 seconds of split squat, alternating. Squat, dirt, on, step back. So make sure you jump as high as you can vertically. Smooth on the landing. Remember your options. You could also just have switch, come up quick, switch, come up quick. Okay, donkey kick option, no jump. Bear, extension at your hip. Okay, so that if you're not jumping, I forget it. Quadre on, sit back, seat. Here, jump, and back. So try to go very, very smooth on your landing. Keep going, push, push, push. Second round, same thing, foot squats, down squat, two, one, let's go. Take your time if you have to, focus on the jump. Donkey kicks. 
ready? Is that a you? Break. 
second round. Squat. Last squat. Three, two, one. Let's go. Still try to jump as high as you can. Turn your whole body before you land.
bringing your knees to your chest as high as you can. If you're not jumping, we'll do squats again. You'll do three pulls and then you'll come up quick. Okay, so that's gonna be our option. So five times for this. So one, two, three, jump. That's one rep, you'll do five. Then we'll do 10 times lateral jump. Both feet. So from here, you're gonna jump to the side, land, balance, and switch, okay? Make sure you land both feet at the same time. Try to balance the weight on both feet and jump as far as you can to the side. So 10 total. Then we'll do five single leg burpees on each side. So standing on one foot, I'm gonna come down, push up position. From here, bring the leg in and jump. Balance on that foot, jump as high as you can. We'll start without a push up. Make sure you just jump back in your straight plank in and up, plank, in and up. So five on one foot, five on the other foot. Then we'll rest, we'll wait for everyone to finish, and then we'll redo it, second round and third round, okay? Um, a single leg burpee, if you don't have, <clears throat> if you can do those, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> down, step back, come in, stand up on that one leg, okay? Five on one side, five on the other. Okay, there's always options. If you're not jumping for the lateral jump, just make a big step to the side, stay in like a half squat position, or any option you want to do, really, as long as you're doing something similar to what we'll do. <coughs> I'll be okay. So, more music, and let's start with pogo jump. Three, one, two, three, tuck jump. Five reps. Okay? No. I'm starting that. Three, two, one, go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Lateral jump. Ten reps. Hey. 
10 times. Single leg burpees. Make sure you jump in a straight plank. jumping as high as you could have so it's important to recover um, we like to be like very intense no break but for some types of workout it's good to have a little bit longer rest okay we'll do it again so one more time hopefully everyone is done with their two rounds listen to your body modify the reps if you have to and we'll go one more time so both will jump to the tuck jump Five rounds. Sorry, my chest was in the way. Okay, in three, two, one, let's go. Two, three, four, five. Lateral. rounds of that. Next portion will be similar in the way we'll go through. Three rounds, three exercise, no time. So we'll just go at our own pace, taking rest when you need. That's why you'll need your chair or your bench. So hopefully you can see me here. We'll do. We'll get our split squat so your back foot will be elevated. We'll do five times on one side. We'll do three pulls and one jump. So similar to that pogo to tuck, but here in the split squat. So make sure your back foot is flat, your front foot is far enough so you can have about a 90 degree here so you're not like this, okay? Pressure on your whole foot. So one, two, three, you're gonna try to jump. If you're doing good at the jumps, you'll try to do like a tuck jump with that front leg. So one, two, three, up. Not easy, try it. If you're not jumping, one, two, three, up fast. If you don't have a bench or you're just not comfortable with it, maybe challenge your balance too much. Here, one, two, three, up or uh, just come up quick or still jumping on both feet if you want. 
Okay, then, uh, second one is a little bit more technique. You'll sit on the floor with your legs straight. We'll be working one leg at a time. Your hands are gonna be close to your legs. You're gonna get your seat off the ground. If you don't have enough strength or enough length in your arms, you might grab yoga blocks, dumbbells if you have some, anything, books, anything that will elevate you a little bit more. So from here, you'll have one foot up, you're gonna come up into a bridge and come back. We'll try to jump five times on that one leg, five times on the other. If it's, that is just too much, stay here, just jump five times on one side, five times on the other. You might go faster than us, so you can jump eight times instead of five. And the last one, push-up position. We'll do 10 reps of jumping jack, spider, spider plank. So it's gonna look like this. Push-up position, jumping jack, spider, spider, back. As quickly as you can. If you're not jumping, we'll just stay here and you'll just bring your knees to the side, 20 times, 10 times on each side. Sounds good, that was a lot of explanation. We gotta start. So, first one, Bulgarian split squat, five reps on each side, three pulls, one jump. Okay, get ready, foot up, we're good. In three, two, one, go. One time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Which side? Try to keep jumping as high as you can. One, 
two, three, four, five. Okay, sit on the floor. Get ready. Up. Jump. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Reset. Get ready. Switch side. Two. Three. Four. Push up position. Get ready and start. One, two, three, four, five, six. for my finisher. Want to do it? You can't answer. So I'm going to say yes. We'll do it. So I hope you're not tired of hearing that song, Sally Up, Sally Down. You probably are, but I don't really care. We'll stay in a push-up position. 
Uh, no, not push up. Squat position. I'm going to find the song first. I'll let you recover. That's going to be painful. We've all heard that song before. Sally up, Sally down. What we'll do, squat position, we're gonna hold. And when they say up, we're gonna jump. So you're gonna go into a vertical jump as high as you can. So you're gonna stay here. Bring Sally up, down, you stay here. Stay here while they are singing. Every time they say up, I want you to try a vertical jump so as high as you can and you'll go back in your squat if possible. We'll do our best for that. It's about three minute song. So we'll start right now. I don't wanna to go too late. So let's go. Squat, posi squat position, everyone. Squat hold, so try to get your thighs parallel to the floor. Up, so go in your squat. Okay, is that enough? Up. I hope you can hear it.
slowly come back up. I'll do a quick cool down. Last time I took too long, my video just stopped, so I'll do it quicker now. Stretch your hamstrings. Take time to cool down after a workout like this. Stretching won't help you to get sore, but it's gonna help you with your flexibility and mobility, so it's important to do it. Good job. Stand up. Just a quick quad stretch. Grab your ankle, knee pointing down. So please share our videos to your friends. We really like to help as many people as we can. So the more people that will see our videos, the more people will reach and help during that time, difficult time for us to, to work out. So I'll let you continue your cool down. My name is Andréanne Montigny. It was good to see you this morning. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you share, like I say, follow us on PSP Fitness Ottawa. Follow us on our Instagram as well. I hope you'll have a good day. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next week.